level 7 commanders this is commander rough life from strategic tritium logistics centers stlc and today we're going to present something that <clears throat> is quite exciting it is nothing less than a revolution of laser mining in any context uh, which for tritium mining um, has been quite significant um, now just look at this you know um, here we have four lasers firing on one group. These are class one modified mining lasers. And here we have three regular lasers. The exact setup can be changed, but I don't think there can be any argument against seven lasers on a cutter being quicker than four. Um, that is when we're still able to um, to um, deplete a complete rock in the time it takes to deplete the distro. So um, let's let's just showcase this. See what we find here. Um, we are in one of our selected hotspots. That in, if you don't know about this, they're available on ED Astro. Um, and what we've done is we have done some mass prospecting, we have scouted several rings and we have selected the ones that have the best yield for a laser and are also good for SSD mining. Uh, meaning that whichever is your preferred method of, um, of mining, then it's going to be a good one. Now, as you might have noticed, if you're looking at the screen, then the last um, rock had 5% tritium. That is just not enough. It's going to be very slow. Uh, when I mine tritium, I look for 10% or more. Right now, I'm not being so lucky, but we, we found that this ring had a good ratio and average percent. Let's see. Here we go. That's close enough. All right, so I'm going to look at the timer and I'm going to start mining when it's on the minutes and that is now. So let's see how we're doing. We're four seconds in. We're halfway through the rock. And we're approaching, and we're done in 19 seconds. So that took me 19 seconds to deplete this rock, and because I have 20 collector limpets, then I'm basically ready to move on. And this is how we've revolutionized laser mining. Uh, and uh, for, for tritium mining, that is necessary. It is an absolute must, uh, in my opinion. If you want to do laser mining tritium, then you want to build this ship right here, the cutter. Um, <coughs> what we've got is, um, I'm not gonna jump to the carrier and edit and stuff, so I'm just gonna show it from here. What we've got is um, three class two mining lasers. Uh, that's that's my my personal choice of the setup but you can do whichever one you like I've got three class 2 mining lasers on one group those are here I put those underneath and then we have um, uh, four of the modified mining lasers let's take a look at those uh, they're further down here. Those are the three class two and then we have the four class one here This is the modified mining laser meaning pre-engineered that you can get in LTT 198 system which is permit locked and these are purchasable for mats which after the engineering update should be a feasible thing to do They are long range and have reduced distro draw meaning that two of these have about the same damage okay it's maybe a little less than a class one but significantly less distro draw 
So uh, placing four of those is the equivalent of two uh, regular class two mining lasers, plus the three means I have the equivalent damage of five mining lasers, uh, regular mining lasers on the cutter. Um, without this setup, there would be no point of putting regular, I mean, five times um, regular mining lasers because the distro draw would prevent you from making use of that. But because they're the class one modified, uh, you're able to, to make the use of it. There's another bonus to the modified ones. Uh, and that is the long range. And that's why I have this on two separate fire groups. Now let's look at how I use that. Let's see what we got here. We have 24 uh, percent tritium. So as you see, I can start mining immediately, even if I was a little further off. Uh, I'm going to add another thing is that when kind of going for speed here, I'm not necessarily taking the time needed to find the center of rotation. I just go for kind of underneath and I might even go flight assist off and kind of hover under here and use a technique that I call shaving the bottom. Um, so while now still scooping some of those fragments, I start prospecting um, the next rock. Uh, as you might have noticed, I am also pinging the, um, the pulse wave analyzer. Um, the point of that is we've found we found that um, yield is somewhat higher around uh, the glowy rocks. Um, not enough that you should only do kind of around the glowy rocks because the travel time will slow you down. But I, I keep pinging the ring and I sort of navigate towards wherever I see glowy rocks and then I tend to find good tritium laser uh, rocks around that. Now, um, <coughs> back to the laser setup. So I have my four long range lasers here. And as you can see, I'm already mining this, this rock. And then, you know, I can boost towards it or I can just move towards it, whatever, whatever speed you want to work at. Oh, my whole task needs upgrading. Um, and as I had approached it, I was, you know, just because just I'm making a video, I'm a little slower right now, so I had made it all the way to 50% on the rock, but... Um, okay, I'm gonna do a little more concentrated mining, just to kind of showcase what this thing is capable of. So I'm already prospecting the next rock while scooping the last fragments. I didn't have much. Eleven is enough. And again, I'm starting to mine already on approach. That had good tritium at the other end, so this is this is definitely going to be the showcase right here. I'm not spending the time needed to uh, find the center of rotation because by the time I have positioned myself at that center, the rock is just about depleted. Right? And now I can already start mining this rock while my collectors are scooping from the, from the rock I was at. No valid targets, now I can move towards it. And we're down to 60% already. Now to keep up with this rate of, of lasering, you do need 20 collectors. So it's, it's the class seven multi-limpet controller. Um, and then as many class five Limpets as you can fit, and I believe that is, um, let's see here, universal multi limpet controller, and then it is four times class five collector limpets. 
other than that standard mining laser setup um, and you know your best technique of getting around the ring we've been able to break the record maybe not we particular commander and also the uh, the uh, the guy who deserves the credit for uh, solving the um, laser setup is commander Finn lightning Cole in our group um, and he has the record of 400 tons per hour tritium which is insane and more than anybody has ever managed before uh, I've been able to pull about 350 tons per hour and that's the rate when we're talking about you know uh, tritium mining being something viable to do uh, so I highly recommend looking at this setup um, and uh, have fun in the void rough out <laughs>